Hello and I welcome you to today's lesson. In today's lesson, I'm going to walk you through how you can successfully pay for your goods on Alibaba.com using your Visa card with the trade assurance. And you are going to be secured. Nothing but secured. Well, if you haven't watched the previous video on how to source for quality products on the Alibaba.com, I will entreat you to go watch that lesson. Either than that, you wouldn't understand this lesson. So please, if you haven't um, watched the previous lesson on the sourcing, I'm pleading with you one more time to go watch it. It is a short lead tutorial. So well, let's jump right into today's lesson. How to successfully pay for your goods using your visa card. Your visa card at the comfort of your home. Well, having source for your preferred choice of items, it could be this, it could be that, it could be anything of your choice, any product, it could be any product of your choice. Whatever you have sourced for it and you are ready to pay, or what you have, uh, you, you, before you make the payment, let's assume you, are, you have sourced for this very item, this very one on top. You see it and the total amount is hundred dollars so hundred dollars so you have to send your shipping address together with your um, shipping mark shipping mark so you your shipping company's address together with your shipping mark to the supplier then let's assume the, the product above the, the blender let's assume one cutting is six pieces and let's assume the total amount is hundred dollars so the supplier has to um, deliver the item from their warehouse to your shipping agency's warehouse within china the cost of delivery or the cost of transporting the item from the supplier's warehouse to your shipping agency's warehouse it is your cost so let's assume the delivery from the supplier's warehouse to your shipping agency warehouse is $20. So it means $100, which is for the total six pieces plus the um, $20. So that will be $120. Ensure that you have the $120 uh, equivalent on your card. Or if your card is a dollar uh, card, then make sure you have what equivalent or more funds on your card. So that you can be able to pay your supplier successfully however sometimes some of the cards are in cities they're in cities so if you have um your card make sure the currency that you have is equivalent to the total amount that you are supposed to pay your supplier now if you have sent the shipping address together with your shipping mark shipping mark a practical example is this one so you see money small uh, money small then the, the, the shipping mark so i'll walk you through how you can successfully create your own shipping mark and it should be a one-time shipping mark it shouldn't be changing consistently here and there no so let's quickly dive into the main focus of today so if you are going to pay your supplier you have done all the necessary arrangements know the total that you are supposed to pay the supplier, know the quantity and know what have you. So you ask the supplier, should I pay you today? How soon can you package my goods and deliver it to the my shipping agency with the address above? The supplier has responded to you, so now we are ready to go. So if you are chatting with the supplier on WhatsApp, what you have to ask the supplier is, send me your trade assurance link. You have to ask the supplier, Let's assume after sourcing, you have come across for 10 of them. So those who have responded to you, let's take it that five has re responded to you successfully. So what you have to do is to, um, now you have done the price comparison. So what you have to do here is to ask them, those that you want to buy from, ask them to send you their trade assurance link so that you can pay them through trade assurance and wait for those that will, will send you will be ready to pay you. You get it? So when they send, the ones that 
uh, send their trade assurance link then you select from the one of your choice that you would like to buy from or pay then you click on the link when you click on the link a trade assurance interface will be open onto you will be open onto you showing the product that you are purchasing from that supplier then on your visa card you see um, 16 digit numbers it is in um, four four badges just as you can see my you get it so you see the uh, the number you first of all input that 16 digit numbers into the section that you'll be provided then the next thing is on the your card you see expiry date you see expiry date on um, your card just as you can see mine here so that one to you enter that uh, details on the card sometimes they will ask you the name on the card sometimes to by key in the system digits and you key in the expiry date the name that has been uh, is on the card will pop up will pop up then the next thing they will ask you is to enter cvv cvv the cvv when you turn the back of the card you see some three numbers here you see some three numbers here you enter those three numbers here you see that i'm even covering mine yes for security reasons because this video some of you might forward it and not what have you so for security reasons i need to cover mine so when you turn the back of your card you see three digits you key in that three digit that is where you enter the cvv then you see pay now or submit or send then you click on that as soon as you click on that the money that you have to pay the supplier will be debited from your card you get it will be debited from your card then it goes now the money doesn't go directly to the supplier it goes to um, trade assurance so trade assurance holds your money the supplier is well informed that uh, you have paid so he can deliver your goods to the shipping agency so the supplier delivers the goods to your shipping agency warehouse then from there you see tracking number when you are done making the payment please and please when you are done paying your supplier using your visa card you would have to ask the supplier to send you the tracking number the supplier should remember to send you the tracking number of the goods when he arranged for um, delivery a dispatch rider or a courier company to come and pick up your items so the supplier has to send you the tracking number sometimes to you get the tracking number on the trade assurance or on your alibaba so we we'll know how to make judicious use of that tracking number that tracking number will enable us to to track and know the whereabouts of the goods as it moves from the supplier's warehouse to your shipping agency's warehouse within china so this is very simple in paying your own suppliers at the comfort of your home there is another alternative by which you can also pay the your supplier at the comfort of your home using an agent and i'm going to walk you through in that lesson as well but first of all i would want you guys to learn how to pay your suppliers with the, the visa card the most important thing here is you should be well equipped with how you can successfully source for quality product from credible and or reliable suppliers on alibaba.com when you are able to do that then you are rest assured that you are good to go read reviews from those suppliers read comments check their rating check um i've demonstrated all those things in the previous video so folks the next thing we are going to talk about is after uh, procurement that is buying or payment the next thing is shipping so shipping what are you supposed to do by having made the payment and receiving the tracking number from the supplier we would have to know how we can track we can track goods from the movement of goods from the supplier's warehouse to your shipping agency's warehouse within china let me throw a more light on this if you don't understand let's assume i live in upper west region of ghana and um, i am buying something from makola market so the person i'm buying the item from is from the makola market but the 
Cars that move to Upper West Region are located at New Plant Station in Accra. Do you get it? So, what I'm buying from the trader from Makola Market is 100 Ghana CDs. So, if it is 100 Ghana CDs, I have, let's take it, I have 200 Ghana CDs on my Visa card. So, I asked the, the seller from the Makola Market, when you deliver the items from Makola Market to um, New Plant Station, where WAR cars are, how much is it? Then the, the trader or the seller tells me is 20 CDs. So it meaning 100 CDs plus 20 CDs. That is 120 CDs. So that becomes the cost of the item. So I have to pay this trader 120 CDs. So after paying this, uh, the trader, the, the Okada personnel or the courier company that will pick the item from the trader from Makola Market to the new plant station or the VIP station at new plant has to give me a tracking number so I have to take that from the supplier so when the supplier gives me that uh, tracking number I should know the movement if the items has left the Makola market from the uh, person I've ordered the things from where it has gotten to as it moves, I should know where it has gotten to. And when it gets to the new plant station, the VIP station at new plant, I should also know. If the VIP um, passes or the drivers there or their parcel office receives my items too. So at this juncture, the VIP people becomes my shipping company. Do you get it? So I now send the tracking number from this trader to the VIP people. So I should also be able to know how to track it. For, for for future reference, it is very important that when you receive your tracking number from the ship uh, the supplier, you have to give it to your shipping agency for reference. So that when they receive it, they can reference you and say that, oh, this uh, item with this um, tracking number has been received successfully. Probably you have about two, three, four different tracking numbers from different suppliers. So maybe this one has been received Probably these ones are in transit, meaning they are on their way to their warehouse. You will also know. So in the next, before we go to shipping, that is where, how to ship from China to Ghana, I will demonstrate practically to you how you can track your own goods, the movement of the goods from your supplier's warehouse to your shipping uh, company's warehouse. So folks, if you have any question as far as this um, payment using your Visa card is concerned, I'll plead with you to ask or leave all your questions in the comment section below and I'll attend them as and when necessary. Notwithstanding that too, I'll plead with you to like, comment and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed so that you'll be posted as and when I drop a new video. See you.